Um, okay, so up next we have an offensive animal. So without further ado, thank you. Unoffensive Animal, as many of you may not be aware of who we are. We're an anarcho-vegan collective. We work for animal liberation, defense of the earth, and solidarity with activists. I'd like to start off by saying we, we, we cannot express how amazed we are at the growth of the movement since the last Animal Rights March. The amount of new grassroots groups and organizations that's been popping up all over the UK has been inspiring. We would like to give a massive shout out to all of the groups taking part in the revolution, whether that's through Bearing Witness with the Save Movement, Hunt Sabotage, campaigning on the computer, collecting data in media, doing outreach in your local town centre. You're all doing amazing work and it's so important and vital to the movement. We would also like to give a shout out to those who, out of love and compassion, put on a mask and go out there to save animals. From hunt saboteurs to those who risk everything and liberate, there are so many heroes that wear a balaclava and don't have a name. We would truly love to show them our solidarity, our gratitude, our respect and our love. They are truly amazing people. I'd now like to read a letter from someone who, for obvious reasons, can't be here to read this letter for themselves. In February, we entered an intensive chicken breeding unit. The trucks, which were waiting to transport the birds to slaughter the following morning, waited empty by the sheds. You could taste the smell that pervaded the air, and when the crowbar made the door give way, it punched us all in the face. The smell always stays with you, and it's something that can't be experienced through watching a video on Facebook. The smell is probably the worst part of it all. Inside, the spray paint on the walls helped us vent our rage at what we were witnessing. They came, they saw, they liberated. A modified slogan from a lab raid 20 years ago now decorated the wall where thousands of birds are going to be murdered and packaged for your nearest supermarket. We had to ignore the dead and the rotting and focus on those who could make it. 24 chickens later, I met Nina. Nina didn't have a name then, but a very caring human would name her the day after. Nina was severely disabled, both legs pretty much useless, using her wings to drag her body over the floor of the horrible, stinking shed. Rationally, Nina should have stayed. But even when thinking coldly, the heart tends to make the final decision. So, Nina became the 25th comrade that was freed from that hellhole the night before her slaughter. <laughs> the last that I heard of Nina is that she died at six months old. She used to sleep in the same room as her caregiver. Her heart could not handle the rapid growth of her body and her disability didn't help her keep fit. Regardless, she had a life of freedom. It felt like a fair deal. One night of fear in exchange for six months of love and freedom. reported in the UK in the past 12 months. 
643 individuals, and that number does not include wildlife being released from traps, economic sabotage, or any other actions. To those who partook in these actions, and to those who gave a safe space to the liberated, we would, again would love to show our love, our solidarity, our respect, and our gratitude to you. You are truly heroes. some months ago and is now on license. Despite a life of isolation and having to check in four times a day, Debbie remains positive. She enjoys cycling on the canal and walking in the Bluebell Woods. Of course we're delighted that Debbie is now free, but there are so many others who remain in prison. We, Unoffensive Animal, have set up a prisoner letter writing table where we are also selling t-shirts, bandanas and badges for donations where all of the money goes towards direct action. We want to break a record on the amount of letters that we can send to our prisoners. We want to let them know that they aren't forgotten, that we care about them. We don't want to let them know, sorry, we don't want to let them think that the state has won. For true revolution, for a change in the system, in defence of the earth. Until every cage is empty, until every mouth is full, until every prison is a library and until everybody is free. Yeah.